Hi everyone, it's Pat here from Scribner Art and Design. Today's video I'm going to uh, be sharing an excerpt from a live uh, workshop that I did in my studio. Uh, it was a workshop on landscape uh, painting, simplifying the landscape, which I have one of those coming up in my studio real soon if you're in my area. So this exercise was about economy of brush strokes. Now the economy of brush strokes is about simplifying how many strokes you make and make each stroke much more deliberate. So you get 25 uh, strokes to complete your painting. And of course, um, you're gonna do a block in and try and save some strokes for your final uh, details. So as you can imagine, you can't put too many details in with 25 strokes. But uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, as I say, this was done while I was teaching a workshop. So the students are in the studio live with me and you may hear some of them asking some questions as we go along and you might see them in the camera view as well. So I have put up the reference photo that I was using and uh, I did go on to create that uh, painting from the reference, which I will get edited and show you in the near future. So if you watch until the end, I put a few um, in situ photos together with the uh, study in it. It really, it looks better framed up than uh, it does definitely in my sketchbook. It's not the best uh, painting in the world, but it was done relatively quickly. And as I say, with 25, I think I used less than 25 brush strokes. So um, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna put my dark my darkest uh, dark in first, so some dark green. So I'm going to load up my brush. Here it goes. So you can do speed exercises, but this is um, an efficiency exercise, so economy of strokes, because um, this isn't what we always do. We don't do economy of strokes. We tend to, uh, myself included, lick our paintings a lot, dabble. Um, so this is economy of strokes. So I'm gonna do this tree line. Oops, I lifted. Okay, I'm gonna, this is what you wanna do, is just keep going so you got enough paint. So I got that dark area. So that was one I lifted, but I'm cheating a little bit because I forgot. <laughs> okay, so I got a lot of paint there. Um, so I'm gonna put in the shadow. I'm looking at my value, it was a little bit lighter. Okay, now I'm going to put in this reflection and I'm going to put it lighter again. I'm looking at my reference as well. Okay, I'm really going to load this up because I want to do try and do that whole shape in one stroke. Oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot to mark. That was number two I just did. Okay, so let's see. I've got it going across straight. I want to save some strokes for details at the end. So the trick is to load your paintbrush up. Oh, that was one paint. stroke. <sighs> that was efficient. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to change color up top here to something a little more different color. And we can switch instruments too. I might do some palette knife stuff. So I'm going to, I didn't mix any light paint for my lightest sky. Okay, that's a pretty big shape. 
much. I'm going to do the mountain in this color for now. You've really got your brush loaded. Yeah, because I might have to turn it over because I don't want to run out of paint. I'm going to try and get this whole shape in. I might smooth that out just a bit. There we go. So got that shape down. Oops, wrong place. The sky is blue, but it also has peach in it. So I'm gonna do my peach. I got lots of strokes left, so I definitely um, don't have enough paint. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gonna put some peach on this side. Look at my picture. See if I'm going back. Yes, I'm going back. Turning around. Would you mind if I come around there? See? Oh, that's fine. So I'm going to try and do that. Okay, so that was another stroke. And now I'm going to put in some of this at the bottom. Okay, there's another stroke. So I'm doing good. I got lots of. Um, you don't need 25. Oh yeah, I probably will because I want to put in some details. So, so, and we're not trying to get. We're not trying to do pretty. We're trying to just do 25 strokes. It's not pretty yet. Let's see if it gets there. So I forgot to mix some kind of light blue stuff. So. Let me do that. Oops. Uh. Yuck. Mm. <laughs> so is that ultramarine? This is ultramarine. I probably won't use this color in my real painting. I think I'll probably use the yellow turquoise just because it's more like it's a picture of Lake Louise and it's pretty um, pretty turquoise pretty there. Turquoise lake, yeah. Yeah, so I think I'll although I might use both because there is a lot of cool, cool and warm, and that's the beauty of having a cool and warm palette. I think I better mix some more paint here. So we can also check our values against what's there if we wanted to um, look at either our black and white and see see where our value is for our sky. So it's definitely not a 10. It's kind of runs between value 9 and value 8, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of, well, that corner even goes to 7. But I can only do one value. So I want to... If I wanted to, I would check this so I'm nowhere near, I'm going to get getting a shadow, um, I'm nowhere near a 7. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I can't see with the, the glare. Yeah, so I'm more like sitting at a value 8, so that's okay. So that's one thing you can do to check, or you could use a transparency red. A red um, Acetate sheet. I probably didn't make enough paint. Okay, load this up. So, this is where the the strokes are going to get interesting because I have to use one for this and then one for this. There, do a bit of blending, so that was one. And then I'm going down to the bottom. I'm going to try and do this area. My paint is still wet, so I'm bringing it around, so that's another stroke. And then I've got a bit of blue over here. Okay, so. Where am I at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I've got lots more strokes, so I can start um, doing some, a little bit more uh, adjustments to this. So, I mean, my mountain isn't all, um, 
one color, obviously, and I, I didn't do a very good job of my mountain range. Can you dry it? Would you dry it before you moved on? You could, but I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to add a little bit of color into my mountains. This is quite dark. It almost feels like maybe it should be a little bluer. Now I'm going to use a palette knife. And again, the palette knife counts as strokes. Okay, so let's see if I can put in a little bit of skewer. No, because I got lots of paint on there and I could do a little bit of scratching through. Try and get a little bit of shape happening here. Yeah, it's starting to look like a bit more like a mountain. And I really lost it on this here. Okay, so I'm going to have to go down there and do some corrections. Um, did I mark that one? Yes. Has the skewer counted? No. I don't count the skewer. No. I don't count the so skewer. Yeah, you had, you had marked, marked it. Okay, I just count the brush strokes, not the skewer. Skewer marks it. Okay, so I can't tell the difference between my reflection and this. I'm going to try and, and um, make that a little better, my tree line. So I'm going to come back in here. Uh, so that's another one that was inefficient. <laughs> that was totally inefficient. So you see what happens? Your strokes start to, they start to leave you. Okay, back to the brush. Why did you go back to the brush? Because I can get more, much more mileage out of it. So I want to carve into this to make it reflect that a little bit more. Hmm. Seems like it, that's darker than what I got on there. This is not a good way to mix paint, just so you know. Okay, so let me see if I can mimic those mountains a bit. So that's one more stroke. Okay. I'm going to drag some lines into this because those are trees. And so this has a highlight of orange on one of the peaks, and it's really off on the edge over here, which I don't think is a greatest focal place, so I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to have to mimic it on this side. Oops, sorry, that's going to count as two. Okay, one there, one there. Okay, so I could keep diddling around on this. Um, I've got a big glob of paint right there, too. For the sake of a big blob, I'll quiet that down. Okay. Am I going to do anything else? How many strokes did I use? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, well. This is a very simple painting. Um, so, values. The mountain has a little bit of really light value in it in places. Really light as in white, just a bit of snow. Let's see if I can put a little light value on, because I don't have any light, I just have mid. 
So I don't like to use pure, pure white. I put a little blue in it. Okay, so this I'm going to try and set on top. So that's going to count as one. And mimic it opposite coming down here. Okay, two. Okay, should I do anything else? I can fix that up a bit because I still have some strokes left, right? So this, you want to save some strokes to try and um, to try and finish. So I can take a little more peach and finesse that a bit. And then I could, this side of the painting is a little darker than the other side, so I could make my blue a little darker over there. Not much difference. That's why I need lots of paint mixed. <laughs> So that's definitely darker. So I'm going to come in here, that darker, and then try and add some dark down into this corner. Okay, so that was two more. So I must be getting close to my 25, yeah? Not quite. Who's counting? I'm, I'm trying. One, two, three. <laughs> see. So there's just between the tree line and that. I, I really lost my, my shadow under there. I kind of lost that. Okay, so let me see if I can put that in. So I've got a little bit of color under the tree line. I wanted it to be brown, but it's not looking too brown. Well, whatever. Okay, so right in there. Yeah, see how it's better to use a, a brush than a palette knife, but I need a smaller brush. Okay, so we've got that, and then I want to change the color of the shadow. It's got to be lighter than that and darker than that. Okay, and we'll try that. I'm going to use a brush though because I can get more mileage. <laughs> I think. Okay, try and put that shadow in. Okay, see how that goes. Okay, that's it. I don't know how many. I still have a couple, but good enough. Good enough for now. Let's take the paint off so you can see the ugliness come to life. And we're not striving for perfect. We're striving for um, trying to make bigger brush strokes and just, anyway, get the idea. It's a lot harder than you think. Because you gotta think, you gotta think about the economy of your strokes. doesn't actually look like a reflection as much as it looks like a post. And yes, this tape does rip up the paper. Better is tape? No. I is found it? somebody who uses scotch tape on a watercolor painting. There's the and what's magic tape? Yeah, I, I think, think if you can go to the is. dollar store, you can get some cheaper white tape, too. Yeah. Okay, so there. That's a pretty abstract of mountains. Yeah. It's cool. But you can kind of... Um, yeah. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that line at the bottom is a little bit...
out of place, but um, you had two strokes to turn it back into a mountain, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, on a reflection. Okay, okay, that's neat. We'll soften that a bit then. How's that? There we go.